The city of West Hollywood is about to get a new, very high-tech, very green parking structure behind West Hollywood City Hall on Santa Monica Boulevard. It is a parking structure that uses less space to provide more parking spaces for your cars. To talk about this exciting new project is Don Monahan, Vice President of Walker Parking Consultants. And Don, thank you so much for joining me here today. My pleasure. Well, I'm going to start with a very simple question. What is an automated parking structure? How does it work? Well, you drive your car into a compartment uh, the size of an oversized single garage stall. And you vacate that compartment, and you activate the storage process in a computer um, uh, computerized uh, transport device uh, comes in from the opposite side of the compartment, uh, slides under your car, lifts it up and uh, pulls it out onto the carrier and it goes over to a lift, moves up to a upper level, slides uh, horizontally down to a storage space and pushes your car without human inter intervention. Hands free, all computer all operated. All computerized, yes. This technology is something you see in New York City where they have no space for parking, but how long have automated garages been around? Just how new is this technology? Well, the technology comes from the automated warehousing industry, and that's been around since the 60s in Europe, in Asia in particular, uh, where they've moved products, uh, pallets of materials uh, around in a high, uh, high piled rack storage uh, facility. And uh, since the 80s, they've been uh, moving vehicles with the uh, same robotic uh, computerized technology. So it's the same kind of idea, instead of moving pallets of goods, they move yes, a car? that's correct. Okay, so we're talking about the last 30 years we've been using it for cars. Yes. How many of these structures exist, and in what kind of cities are we going to see these high-tech structures? Well, worldwide, there's over 500 uh, of these automated vehicle storage and retrieval systems. Uh, it's been slow to come to the United States. Uh, the first one was... Uh, built in uh, 2002, and now there are 16 uh, of these facilities in the United States. Mm -hmm. And what countries have been using them for years? Germany. Uh, I went, uh, I looked at several in uh, Seoul, South Korea. There's 26 uh, automated garages there. Uh, Japan, uh, Amsterdam, uh, Israel, all over the world. So you hand off your car essentially to a computer or a, a robot. Yes. How reliable is this technology? Should I worry that I'm never going to see my car again? Well, there's a, a lot of redundancy built into these devices. Uh, uh, first of all, the brains of the system consists of what they call a programmable logic controller. It monitors all these transport devices moving around inside the storage vault at the same time so they don't run into each other. And they have backup uh, uh, controllers uh, so that when you couple them together, it's 99.96% reliable. And then there's uh, multiple motors on each carrier. It, uh, each, wheel, each of the four wheels has a motor, so if one motor goes down, the other three motors can still move a vehicle. There's six lift devices in the carrier to raise the car up. If one goes down, the other five can still lift the car. There's a uh, server, uh, computer server that's backed up with another server every 15 minutes. Uh, so there, uh, there's emergency generators to provide backup power, so it's extremely reliable. So that emergency generator could come in handy in, say, Southern California when we have a heat wave and we have brownouts or yes. blackouts and we have no power. You don't have to worry that you're going to put your car in this structure and never see it again because we have no power to get it out. That's correct. And there's also manual overrides. Uh, uh, that you can operate the system manually. Well, we've all waited in line at the valet to get our car. We've even waited in line at the parking toll booth to pay the ticket to get out. How fast is this going to be? Are we gonna have to wait in line to get our cars from this structure? Well, one of the critical elements of the design was to uh, do traffic counts to determine what the peak hour arrival departure volume was, uh, is going to be for this facility. And uh, we found that it's something less than two vehicles per minute. Well, the system can handle four vehicles per minute, so it's got twice the capacity as the average arrival departure rate. And how long does it take from the time I walk up to that uh, building, push a button, enter in my car number code for it to get to me so that I can uh, drive the away? A, the average storage re retrieval time is 90 seconds, which is shorter than it would take to go uh, up an elevator, get your car in a conventional garage, and drive out of a conventional garage. That's amazing, 90 seconds. Yes. What happens if uh, two or three people all come at the same time? You say there's four 
different well, systems? There's four uh, compartments, so it can handle four cars at once. So there's five carriers inside the system uh, to uh, handle uh, that many cars. Yeah. You can enter the time that you're expected to come back and get your car. So the computer, the system knows when, you, when you're expected back and it can move the car from an upper level down to a lower level so it would retrieve faster. It's intuitive. Yes. And it can, you can, it can work with you and with yes. your schedule if you let it know when you think you're going to be coming back. Yes. That's pretty incredible. Because how many times have you parked in a lot, I'll be back in five minutes, mm -hmm. and you show up five minutes later and your car is behind seven cars and you yes. can't get out. Or go, go on to a concert and been stuck there until everybody in front of you moves out. That mm -hmm. doesn't happen with this kind of structure. No. That's pretty incredible. The city of West Hollywood prides itself on being very green, cutting edge green technology. That's what you find here in the city of West Hollywood. How green is this kind of structure? Well, the, the car's transported without the engine running, so there's no vehicle uh, emissions, so there's less pollution. Uh, it actually uses le less electricity, about half the electricity of a conventional garage. Uh, it's in a, in a smaller volume, so there's less materials, uh, so it's more green from that standpoint. Uh, and it's equivalent to taking uh, 90 cars off the road annually or planting 90,000 trees. And when you say uses like less electricity, that's because you don't need to have full lights on every floor and every section. That's exactly right. You don't need right. to do that. That's exactly right. Wow. And because you stack the cars, how much less land do you require compared to a conventional garage? Well, you can get the same amount of cars in half the volume. And it also uses about 60% less footprint than a conventional garage. And, uh, it gave the opportunity on this particular site, which is so tight, to have additional setbacks from the residential property to the south and also to create a 27-foot uh, landscape civic plaza between the garage and the city hall itself. So a little bit of uh, greenery and beauty that you wouldn't have if you had to put a regular traditional structure there. Right. The traditional structure would have taken literally t filled up the entire site. Well, West Hollywood currently, in their current parking spot, uh, can accommodate about 65, 66 cars. How many cars will this structure be able to accommodate once it's built? 200 cars. That's a big difference. Yes. More than three times as many. Yes. That's amazing. So we're talking about it. It's coming to West Hollywood. General idea when we'll be able to park in this garage. It has to be built, obviously. Right. Well, we've, uh, the city uh, has approved the schematic design phase, uh, so there's still another four or five months left to complete the design. And, uh, bid the project out, so it would probably be uh, next spring, uh, early summer, uh, before the uh, ground is broken, and then it'll take about a year for it to mm -hmm. get built. Mm -hmm. What do you say to the folks who are skeptical? My mom gets afraid using her iPhone because it's too high tech. What do you say to the people who have those kinds of fears about high technology that they don't quite understand? Uh, the American public uh, doesn't uh, adopt new technology easily, but once they do, you know, they embrace it. And it's the same thing with automated vehicle storage retrieval systems. Uh, it's a proven technology in Europe and Asia and uh, across uh, the ocean, but uh, and there's 16 projects in the United States that are working well. Uh, so we're very confident that uh, this structure is going to serve the city very well. Don Monahan, uh, Vice President of Walker Parking Consultants, thank you very much for joining me today. My pleasure. And I am Tracy Savage. Happy parking, everyone.